they're always pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. So that's something that uh, I kind of latch on to is that you kind of get nervous and it's very kind of quiet around that first, like first course. I'm like, oh, this is really good. Like this stranger does know how to cook. To celebrate our community of local artists, the Art Museum of South Texas is asking 10 creatives one question. What 10 tools do you use to make blank? My name is Natalie Trevino, and I'm the owner and chef of The Ruffian, a pop-up dinner party experience in South Texas. My toolkit carries everything, sauce spoons, knives, um, literal tools, everything that I would need that most home kitchens don't have. So some of them might not have microplanes or might not have this nice metal fish spatula. So I carry all my you know, necessities with me there. And that helps me create the food for the dinner party. A calendar, like straight up calendar year where I can see what dates are coming up, what holidays to celebrate, seasonal foods that people would, I would like to see on menus for people to enjoy at their peak. I feel like I can use salt in ways people are sort of afraid to. I can amp it up with a gray salt or put it really forward and crunchy with a flaky salt or sort of mellow with like a purple salt. So it's all these different salts that I sort of learned how to use myself throughout school and experience in cooking and I bring that to the dinner parties. And then I have my pepper grinder. Nathan thinks it's sort of, um, my memory is attached to it more than the pepper that comes out of it itself. But it was something I bought myself after I had healed from my latest surgery. It's made of olive wood, it's super beautiful. I can twist a knob and the pepper's super fine or I can make it really wide and get these hard, crunchy pieces of pepper. The more not so tangible, I just brought a photo of me with my illness, this sits above my desk and it sort of helps to fuel my tenacity. Like I know what I ask of people and I, and I get kind of brave because I almost wasn't here to be able to do that. So when you invite people to dinner, they kind of think they know what you're doing. Um, you know, oh look, we'll come to dinner and it'll be great and we'll have some wine and we'll visit. But then you get there and you've never been there before because you didn't know where it was until the night before. And then you, dinner comes and it's not like sort of help yourself, it's served to you in somebody else's home and you're sitting next to people that you've never met before. So I kind of use the tool of expectation to sort of lure people in to say, let me make you dinner, but they don't know who I am. Makes what I do a little bit more interesting to people, not just a person who cooks dinner for people, but cooks dinner for strangers in strangers' homes. Yep, my head scarf, this, this is my grandmother's. So before I started the Ruffian pop-up, I was sort of her personal chef. She was diagnosed with celiac disease and she couldn't eat gluten the last four years of her life. She was diagnosed when she was 79. And uh, when I lost her in February of 2019, she passed away. I just wanted to like cook for her one more time because we would do Saturday night dinners at my house. Throwing these dinner parties sort of came out of that and I wear her scarf. It's, it's very much a tool in that it helps, you know, keep me all put together because I'm a sweaty girl, but it's, uh, it's absolutely inspiration from her. That's 100% my right hand man, Terry, and that's my mom. So she sort of saved my back and us in so many different ways, just because she thinks of the finer details that I'm sort of could, like consumed with the big picture, making everything's perfect. Um, but as far as like a tool that I will always have, and it is, oh, it's this, there's a specific spoon and it's this spoon. So this was probably a Walmart find from like 2000s, like I was in high school, I think. This holds the perfect amount of sauce from the pan and then I can glide it over the chicken or on the plate. I went to the International Culinary School at the Art Institute of Austin. And I went from 2010 and I graduated at the end of 2012. And it was amazing, versed in global cuisines. It's rooted in French technique and Escoffier um, teaching practices, so you learn how the greats of Europe learn how to cook. Food or food as art sort of stems from that region of the world, so that's what that school was based in and I loved every second. It was the hardest thing I've ever done, but it was the best thing I've ever done.